Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Secretary Zinke. It's uh, great to see you back here in the committee. Um, it's an honor to be elected with you in the same class to Congress and to serve with you here, here on this committee. And I know that uh, not just me, but a lot of Americans are grateful to you for your, your military service, your service in Congress. And now it's great to see you uh, over at the Department of Interior. Um, I know from personal experience that you and I share a lot of the same ideas on conservation and land management. Um, I know that uh, one area that uh, you supported during the last Congress was on reauthorization of the uh, LWCF, the Land and Water Conservation Fund. And I know that in your testimony, you mentioned briefly that the LWCF receipts authorization expires at the end of fiscal year 2018 and the administration will review options for reauthorization. Uh, if we look at that fund and the history of it, uh, it's generated about $38 billion since it was set up in 1965. $17.5 billion have been spent, leaves a balance of about $20.5 billion. Um, over that time frame, there's been over 5 million acres purchased. Uh, 42,000 state and local projects uh, done through that fund. Uh, and when the fund was originally set up, it was supposed to be 60% state, 40% federal. It's now actually about, in, in reality, there were 40% of the fund went to state projects and 60% went to federal projects. The, the purpose of that fund is to require, preserve, and ensure access to outdoor recreation facilities. And uh, I want to tie this into infrastructure, and I'm so pleased to see your emphasis on infrastructure and the uh, recognition that we need to do more on the infrastructure on our public lands, especially on the Park Service. Um, but there's, there's not been a whole lot of the Land and Con Water Conservation Fund, I believe, spent for the preservation and ensuring access to outdoor recreation facilities and infrastructure plays a vital role in that. So my, my question to you is, do you think that there's opportunity to uh, maybe through a reauthorization to restructure LWCF so it's focused more on state projects, focused more on taking care of the assets that we currently uh, have in the system? Well, I do, and it's hard to recreate on a beach if the beach doesn't exist because there's not a reclamation program uh, to support it, particularly on the Gulf Coast where the, where the you know, and the, the Gulf states, and I don't mean to talk, uh, talk for your, your esteemed colleague to your right, but when all I'm the sure money, he'll have, he'll have when all the money is received place. from, revenue is received offshore and much of it goes inland, there's always an argument about why it is it appropriate, but I think the mission of the LWCF and the expense, I think we need to look at it. It's hard to recreate if you don't have a road to get there, or the road is closed because they don't have the maintenance to make sure it's safe. So using the LWCF in the spirit of how it was formed uh, to restore lands that would provide access to public activities, recreation, I think is, is an area where we would agree uh, that we should. The states should have more say. The, it was set up where the states are, are always in a better position to look at recreational opportunities within that state and to highlight their assets. So giving more latitude to the states so the states can decide what their opportunities are, what they should be, uh, I, th I think is a good thing. Do you feel like you have authority under the current authorization to use more of the LWCF funds for uh, infrastructure? It would be nice if I had more latitude, uh, quite frankly. Uh, the law is, is pretty clear, uh, but it, it would be nice. One is if we had a steady stream of income. You rightly point out that there's over $20 billion that has not been used, even though Offshore assets, uh, oil and gas primarily, have g given the revenue for a purpose, and that purpose hasn't been authorized and not used. Same with, same with Bureau of Reclamation, by the way. Bureau of Reclamation is about $18 billion of unused. These are revenues intended to build our rural and reclamation opportunities for water. That is untapped, uh, continues. So I would like 
Uh, personally, I I'd like to work with you to have a steady stream and give the states more flexibility and use those monies uh, with, with more flexibility to provide greater public access and use. I look forward to working with you on that. So do I. You'll get it. Ms. Hannah Buza. Uh, 